Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread on the 13th of February 2024. The Bible reading today is Isaiah 1, 15 to 20. When you spread out your hands in prayer, I hide my eyes from you. Even when you offer many prayers, I am not listening. Your hands are full of blood. Wash and make yourselves clean. Take your evil deeds out of my sight. Stop doing wrong. Learn to do right. Seek justice. Defend the oppressed. Take up the cause of the fatherless. Plead the case of the widow. Come now. Let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. But if you resist and rebel, you will be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Today's article, titled Jesus' Blood, was written by Kenneth Peterson. The colour red doesn't always naturally occur in the things we make. How do you put the vibrant colour of an apple into a t-shirt or lipstick? In early times, the red pigment was made from clay or red rocks. In the 1400s, the Aztecs invented a way of using the cochineal insects to make red dye. Today, those same tiny insects supply the world with red. In the Bible, red denotes royalty, and it also signifies sin and shame. And of course, it's the colour of blood. When soldiers stripped Jesus and put a scarlet robe on him, these three symbolisms merged into one heartbreaking image of red. Jesus was ridiculed, as would be royalty. He was cloaked in shame, and he was robed in the colour of the blood he would soon shed. But Isaiah's words foretell the promise of this crimson Jesus to deliver us from the red that stains us. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. One other thing about those cochineal insects used for red dye. They are actually milky white on the outside. Only when they are crushed do they release their red blood. That little fact echoes for us other words from Isaiah. Jesus was crushed for our iniquities. Jesus, who knew no sin, is here to save us who are red with sin. You see, in his crushing death, Jesus endured a whole lot of red so you could be white as snow. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for your son Jesus and the saving grace of his shed blood. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Andrew and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.